Next, we want to go over parking a call and then retrieving a parked call. Uh, then I also want to show you how to answer a second call and or a third call as they come into your phone while you're on the line. So parking a call, if you noticed uh, earlier on in our training that we talked about the park button and the pickup button, there's actually a couple of different ways to park a call. So let's get an initial caller on hold. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let's just dial this person from my speed dial to have an active call. Okay, so we have our caller. Now, if you see where the park buttons go. Now, your phone may or may not come equipped with the park pickup buttons already programmed. Uh, but like we talked about, you can easily just tap your home key to see them if they are programmed. Or you could program these buttons yourself as speed dials. Keep in mind that on the, uh, the cheat sheet or um, you know your little desk reference that you'll be getting, it does show you how to park a call uh, just by hitting the hold button and then hitting star 68 uh, or star 58, either one. Or you can also um, hit your park button on your phone. So today I'm going to show you both ways. Um, if I just hit my home key uh, just a couple of times while I'm on a call, I see my park button. I just tap it. Please dial the number where you want to park your call, followed by pound. Or dial pound to park the call against your number. Your call has been parked. Thank you. Okay, so I parked the call. It then goes to the cloud. The call is parked against my ex However, now I'm available to place calls, receive calls, and I can also retrieve my parked call from any phone in my group or in my, um, in my office, uh, simply because I already know what number I parked the call against. Uh, people use park many different ways. Um, basically, if you're moving from one office to a conference room and you want to move your conversation, you can easily park your call against your own extension or against someone else's extension, and then you can go to that destination, dial pickup by either putting, uh, pressing the pickup key on your phone, or you can also dial star 88. So for this, let's dial star 88, and then hit dial. To retrieve a parked call, dial the number where the call was parked, followed by pound, or Dial pound to retrieve the call parked against your number. Okay, so you see our callback is coming back in. So I'm going to go ahead and, and accept this. I'm going to retrieve it. So I have retrieved my parked call. If you notice, a new call was coming in from the recall. After a call is parked for a certain amount of time, and that time is designated by your company's system administrator, Typically, it's 60 to 90 seconds uh, for most customers, for most eMERGE accounts. Um, they'll set their timer. But that recall happens. So when you park a call and it is not retrieved, you will get a ringback notification from the initial phone um, coming back into you, uh, which is basically that parked call notifying you that it's still parked, it's still out there uh, on hold in the cloud waiting to be retrieved. Now, you don't have to answer that parked call because uh, unless you're ready to answer it back uh, because the person who's parked still just hears hold music um, while they are parked. Uh, and as I said before, parking is basically putting a call on hold in the cloud and then going to another destination uh, and retrieving that call. When you put a call on hold, you're putting it on hold only on your phone. But if you park a call, it's like a system hold or universal hold. You can retrieve it from anywhere as long as you know where it's parked. So now that we have uh, successfully retrieved our parked call, I want to show you another way to um, park a call if you don't have the park and pick up speed dials listed on your phone already. So to park this call, again, I could also hit my hold button and then dial um, star 68. So we've hit hold. Caller's hearing the hold music. We're going to dial star 68 and then hit our dial key. Please dial the number where you want to park your call, followed by pound. Your call has been parked. Thank you. See, I just hit pound and parked it against my own extension. 
Now let's pick it up by hitting the pickup button on our speed dials. To retrieve a parked call, dial the number where the call was parked followed by pound, or dial pound to retrieve the call parked against your number.